monsters have really ugly skin and so did I and so I thought I was a monster. What was going through my head during that time was, is this ever going to stop or am I just going to live like this for the rest of my life? When you hear the words, you have cancer, gravity loses meaning. Then I get this diagnosis, radiation-induced morphia. My body reacts as if my whole body was radiated. My name is Carissa, I am 12 years old, and I have lived with eczema for as long as I can remember. The skin looked like tissue paper almost. It looked like you could rip it off, and it just kept spreading, getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I mean, I was putting creams on him constantly. In the middle of the nights, I'd have to change his sheets because he bled everywhere. It was just a very dark, dark time, very dark time. In our lives. We just didn't know what else to do. All the doors were closing on us and, and when this door opened there was a glimmer of hope. You know I just thought it was hydrotherapy and I just saw water and I'm like no I can't have hope in anything. When we first went I didn't feel confident that it would help. It was just another thing that we were trying and I've since said that's the best thing I've ever done. It's crazy how well he's responded from this treatment. It's changed his life dramatically, it's changed ours. I was hoping for my skin to be better and it not to hurt anymore and it to just be like normal. She just changed. Just the confidence and just feeling good about herself and being comfortable. I can't tell you what this has done. What this has done when someone hands you your life back. And then has beautifully woven itself into the fabric of who I am. It's like finally I can walk, I can play, I can interact with my brother and play video games with him. And it's just awesome. This is what I wanted. <laughs> Sorry. It's just, these are happy tears, it's not sad tears. And I'm so happy for them. <laughs>